Hi everyone! A while ago I asked if you wanted to see a video on how I use my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin. If that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. I swear by this stuff and I mention it a lot and I have it in my empties and I said that I could show you how I put it in my hair. I do it wet and dry. So you know what I do when um, it's wet. I usually have, before I shower, coconut oil in my hair. Go in the shower, shampoo and condition, rinse it all out, come out, put it in a turvy twist. Then I tried to show how it would look without using this. It's straw. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even comb it. It was so brittle. It's just, it doesn't matter what conditioners, what shampoos I use. If I don't use this when I come out, my hair is horrible. I've used other products that were okay, but this is phenomenal. So I, when it's wet, use quite a bit. I do probably two generous portions that are probably equal to half a tablespoon. I think that's how much this is. And work it all throughout the hair from the roots down. Then I blow dry my hair and I get it almost dry, not completely dry. And then I take just a scant little bit of this, not as much, and do it again, especially on the ends, whether it's these ends up here that are my layers or these ends down here, because that is where it's very, very dry. And I'll put a little bit more on, blow dry it some more. I don't have to worry about it being greasy because I always shampoo my hair at night and it soaks in overnight. Absolute worst case is if I did overdo it, I could use a dry shampoo to counteract it, but it's very, very rare that I ever have to do that because my hair just soaks it up. It makes my hair thick, it has elasticity, it has um, bounce and texture to it, and it has shine. Now, if you have really dry hair like me, I say it can be used in an oil slick for cleaning things up. Um, I Sometimes in the little bit that I put in my hands and put it into my hair, I will put a drop or two or three of oil. And I could do a whole video on the types of oils. The one that I've been using lately, thanks to Susan, love you, she gives great book and product recommendations, is Trader Joe's Argon Oil. This is 100%. It is 1.7 fluid ounce, and I think it was around $7. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, uh, the ordinary one ounce is, I think, around the same price, maybe a little less because it's only one ounce instead of 1.7, but it is really a good product. The thing that I would tell you in looking for an oil is look at the purity and look at the size. So a lot of times you'll get a little size like this and it's more expensive than if you work it out per ounce. Uh, this is a fabulous product. I just put a couple drops in and then it distributes it more evenly. I'm also going to show you some other shine and oil types of products that I have. And these are okay, they're nice, I will use them up, but I will not repurchase. And the reason is a couple fold. It's got extreme scent, extreme, like I smell it all day on me. And it also comes out in spurts when you spray it or pump it. And so you can have spots that are very, very oily and then other spots that don't get anything. What I do do with these so that I can use them up is use them along with this. I'll just put a spritz into the conditioner and that way I'm distributing it more evenly throughout my hair. This does also have a scent, so if you are scent sensitive, you might want to not get it. I like the scent and I honestly, I did notice it when I first started using it. I don't notice it now. I like it, it dissipates. I don't notice it at all. So if you're scent sensitive though, you might want to be careful about that. The other thing is when my hair is dry in between shampooing, I use this as well at night. I don't take the heavy thick amount that I use, but the little amount that I do on um, the end to rehydrate it, I put that all over my ends and again on the layers. At night, 
let it all soak in, and then in the morning it's just workable and it turns my straw into gold. <laughs> so that's how I use this. I hope that was helpful. By the way, I was asked how long these last. I have never measured. I want to say three months. I don't know. I'm guessing. It might be less than that, but I go through it pretty quickly. I love this and I still have my coconut oil that is in the pump and I really do like that as well. That was what I used prior to discovering this. I mix that coconut oil into here. I don't think I would repurchase. This is the one product that I absolutely love and like I said you add in a drop or two of oil if you have really dry hair you will have I see I have a light that's to show you I have shiny hair <laughs> hopefully it transmits I feel like a lot of times it doesn't show how my hair looks on camera it looks dry but hopefully you can see in that little spotlight there that see this is a editing thing I did this on purpose <laughs> Okay, I think I've done enough. I'm going to say goodbye. I've got to get back to work. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this was helpful. And if you are not just a bleach blonde, but if you have dry hair, if you struggle like I do, please leave any tips you have below because I think we all like to have nice, healthy, shiny looking hair. I think the dry, brittle air, hair definitely ages you. So share any tips that you have below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and we'll talk to you next time.